Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be doing some puzzles on Lee Chess uh, in front of you and see how it goes. I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that your game also improves along with mine. I hope uh, it has been a pleasure uh, watching these videos on a daily basis. If it's not that way, just let me know so I can fix those things and improve myself as well. Now, before I start, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's begin. So it's black to move. Uh, my rook is in threat. Taking doesn't make sense to me initially because knight takes, I can take back, but then queen can, can work out actually. I get two pieces for one. Uh, is there some checkmating pattern is what we have to also look out for. Our bishop is controlling the, di the diagonal here. I don't think this would be enough. Uh, queen is kind of passive here, I would say. Uh, cannot give a check from here because knight controls. And there is no check from here as well. Just trying to find where can I place my queen if I have to move it at all. I don't see a very good square here. I think rook takes bishop, knight takes rook, and then queen takes back the knight should be winning. Then, of course, often can save the bishop, but then we can pin. Um, I think I should go ahead with this and try. Yeah. Actually, we have moved the knight away from here as well. So... Maybe I can continue with some checks as well. A check would mean open can get the queen in between. Uh, no, I think I should just take this. Couple of options. I can take this or I can just give a check. Which one is better? Giving a check, open gets the queen in between. Can I still pursue with checks? I can from a couple of places and take the bishop as well, maybe. Okay, this makes sense as well. Queen check. And if my opponent gets the queen in between, then I give a check and take the bishop. But then queen would be active, might take up something. I think I should just take uh, the knight here. Maybe with uh, king, because then the bishop is under attack, has to go back somewhere. So that my queen is also active there. Opponent can try and exchange queens as well. Queen takes or... Queen is active there, I think. Now that the knight is removed. Otherwise, it was passive. Yeah, this is correct. So let's go ahead to the next one. Oh, and that is my peak puzzle rating, I think, so far. Anyways, this is the next one. Um, what have we got here? Queen takes rook looks obvious. Or pawn takes rook is also a move. Um, what else we have? We have this rook also hanging for the time being. Now, which one should we go with? Or we have something else here which I am missing completely. <laughs> So I think rook takes, oh, pawn takes rook is better, but then this rook would come here and I can take the pawn, open can try and defend, but then I will be queening. This is a queening square and can't be defended because bishop is controlling it. So I think taking this rook makes more sense than this one. Or if I take this, then open can save this rook somewhere. Yes, he can. So, but then lose the pawn. I somehow feel that this rook should be taken. Yeah. Now, again, I can exchange rooks here. Then knight comes in. And then I can take this and take. So I'll take. And then I'll take this pawn. And then knight is hanging. So this was good. And, of course, this pawn was about to queen as well, if not taken. So, yeah, pretty much good there, thankfully. Let's proceed to the next one. Now I have two attackers here. 
in fact three attackers so it's basically a choice to with which piece you really want to take it um queen takes is one option but then i would say after queen takes opponent is going to go backwards and then there is no follow-up checks coming yes i can take the bishop but here if you see my king's uh, position it's also weak because then knight comes in or maybe uh, this would be controlling too so i can hold on to the situation from there uh, but yeah that, that that should be okay can work out because the threat here is knight check which would move my queen here and then discover check a double check basically from the queen and the knight i can't take the knight because queen is also uh, giving a check then i have to move my king when i think then the only square would be the h8 and then it's a smothered mate at the end so to avoid that the queen takes and i come back is one option or i take with the if I take with the knight, then again, uh, check is going to continue. I can take with the bishop, but that's not helping either. I think I should take with the queen and then come back is the best move. Uh, how do I have got any other move here? Because this would be losing, I think. There's nothing controlling this knight over here otherwise. Maybe I can just double up. That, that makes more sense. Yeah, because then I'm threatening checkmate as well. Yeah, I should double up here. Yep, the correct one. Always a nice idea to double up your pieces and you're threatening checkmate. You're saving yours checkmate as well. So that works perfectly fine. Okay, we'll do one more. Try to reach 2150 somehow. <laughs> okay, end game puzzles, which I love, but then I <laughs> blunder eventually uh if i leave this pawn of course this is going to be a pain but right now i can control it um i can take or i can just let that be open cannot move pawn forward open cannot get his king anywhere nearby so after i so the process would be i'll take open would move towards this side trying to get access to the pawn and once he does move to d7 I my king would already be on c4 so I'll be moving towards the opponent opponent goes here and then we have to repeat maybe it is kind of a draw is this a winning position somehow if I go back my, I think once I reach to that level I think there some repetition can be done how about I move and then my opponent moves and then I go here opponent comes here I go here, opponent comes here, then I go here, opponent takes the pawn, I take two, he sidesteps. I think opponent would be faster. So I have to go up, maybe. No? Okay. Okay, trying to. What was the difference here? This makes a draw because your opponent is trying to come here. Okay, and then I forced him to just make sure that i'm coming closer to an escort then he has to move and then i start chasing okay got that so the jinx continues for the end game puzzles anyway uh check is one option by taking on the pawn queen takes doesn't work because then queen comes on the board Rook takes queen and then pawn takes rook. That would be bad. Uh, there's a check from the diagonal as well, interestingly. And it somehow makes more sense. Anyways, I'm controlling the uh, knight squares. So queen from here as a check is good. Plus I'm controlling this as well further. Yeah, I think so. Check and then... And then what we can do here is, is there a mate somewhere? I doubt because I don't have much pieces involved. So I should take here. Opponent will also take and I'll take back. And then it's queen and a knight versus two rooks. It should be fine. Yeah. So another good one. 2148. 
this should be easy but have to make sure that i'm not blundering too <laughs> so i think bishop takes is a good option uh, but after that i have to make sure that i'm not blundering this back rank as well so how's the check here that should be nice that saves my back rank and now i take the queen perfect 2150 plus now 2158 i'll leave this here <laughs> and i'll play the puzzles next time again sometime soon i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback i hope really it helps you improve your puzzle solving techniques these are high rated puzzles as you see now 2100 plus so hope this really helps thank you so much for your time please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now um don't want to get stuck on 1000 subscribers as as always so yeah thank you so much for your time take care bye bye